It's World Wetlands Day on Wednesday the 2nd of February. So we're on a mission to raise awareness. But before we do that, we thought we'd actually get out into the community and see what people know about wetlands. So right now we've come to the Whununganui Market to ask locals and tourists what they know about wetlands and to share our knowledge on how we can help our environments. So let's get to it. <laughs> Yeah, I do. You do? I do, I do. Can you share your explanation with us? The wetland is an area where uh, we've got a river and it tends to like a, like a filter like a lot of things. So, do you know what a wetland is? A wetland? Yeah. Um, not here. It's very hot and dry. Do you know what a wetland is? I do. Um, the best wetland here in the Cook Islands is the Taro Patch. Do you know what a wetland is? I don't know. Saltwater covers over the surface of the soil all year round. Yes. A specific areas of land where it filters out all the water coming from the mountains uh, going out to the sea. Do you know about the wetlands we have here in Rotterdam? I don't. Well, the wetlands over here are, are also known as taro patches, so taro patches are also a part of wetlands. What are some of the threats for our wetlands? Um, I think development is one of the biggest threats to wetlands here. Yeah, people building over the natural wetlands and then it can cause flooding to properties nearby. Kia today we're at the nursery behind Paradipi's Palace and right now we're going to get right in there into one of our wetlands right here in Rarotonga. We've come here to inspect the plant and animal life that resides here in the wetlands. We've um, split off into multiple teams to help uh, achieve this. We've got a team for uh, fish life and uh, water quality. We've got a team for the insects and more specifically to identify different dragonflies. And we've also got a team that identifies different plants that we can identify. Exactly that. We are using an app and multiple choices of equipment to do our research. And we are literally getting right in there. <laughs> Let's get in there, guys! Kirana, so today we have Brennan, our main star of the show, who will be overseeing the show today. So, Brennan, may I ask what we may be expecting during this outing? So, um, this is the wetland next to our new nursery uh, on uh, Padi's land. And we're basically just having a look and trying to give some of the plant species some names, um, some of the sedges, some of the taro. Um, this is um, Tiemu, uh, Ludwigia, and we're um, we're just trying to name some of the things that we're seeing, and so that maybe we can start to build narratives or stories around what we're seeing. And um, we're also going to be looking at at uh, dragonflies and damselflies and maybe capturing them and identifying them as well and trying to figure out uh, what their names are and uh, what they're doing. And what about the water quality of our wetlands? Um, so the plants will be having quite a bit of an effect on the quality of the water. Uh, the plants uh, absorb nutrients, absorb contaminants, uh, and we'll have a team that will be looking at the temperature of the water, the pH of the water, and it will also be using a net to scoop out any potential dragonfly larvae or other um, swimming insects that are part of the ecology of this wetland. So Brennan, how are we going to be identifying some of the species here in the wetlands? Um, so the Cook Islands Natural Heritage Trust has done a lot of work already in documenting a lot of these species. Um, and so we'll be using the, the Natural Heritage Trust database to identify the species and then use the, the amazing internet to then find out what other people have already learned about these species. You've got a very professional looking camera there. What are you um, using that for? So we're using these cameras to take photos of the dragonflies. Mm -hmm. um, obviously we don't know the name of these dragonflies, mm -hmm. so this is the best way to get Photoshop so we can ID them um, through the internet. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, what exactly are you trying to capture with that net? I'm trying to catch dragonflies. So I've managed to catch three so far. Two little orange ones, about that long. And green one and it has a really bright blue tail on the back of it which I believe is a damselfly of some sort. Ah, so is there a big difference between the colours that the dragonflies have on them? Look I really don't know but we've got some experts over in the hearts so I, what I've done is I've 
put them into some glass jars, right. put some holes in the top so that they can breathe. Uh, yeah. And we're going to get those analysed and we'll work out what's what. You can have a go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One of the teams today. So, um, what is it that you guys are inspecting? Um, we're just taking the height measurements and the width measurements of all the wetland species. Oh, that's cool. So, are you um, measuring all the plants or um, insects as well? No, oh, we're only doing plants. So, what kind of plants have you guys found and measured so far? Um, as you can see, we found two species of the thuddle plant, um, camel plant. Um, and we found this interesting vine plant, oh, like, heart -shaped the heart-shaped vine. Uh, there's also the native mulch. So yeah. We're here with another one of the team um, doing water quality. Is that right? Yeah, I collected water from wetland, and we got dirt. Yeah. And we got the dirt from just around here and shaking it up to see what the difference was. The water from here yeah. had smooth oh, sand in it. Oh, very interesting. We will see oh, if we could find any fish in the wetland, but we found just the mosquito larvae. Yeah. After venturing through the great wetland, we've come out knowing more about dragonflies, wildlife, and well, just about everything in the wetland. It was an amazing experience down here at the Wetlands. It totally changed my perspective of what I thought the Wetland was. But I'm so endrenched right now. <laughs> right, we're going to finally get out of this water to go check out what Gabriel is doing with that article. Hey first! Not if I can get you first! <laughs>